God bless you brothers and sisters. I wanted to come and share a message with you all on tonight. Um, the Lord gave me a powerful eye-opening message last night. And it was so heavy on my heart and on my spirit that I literally, I could not stop thinking about it. And so I really feel led to share this with you guys. I'm sure that it will bless you. I'm sure that it will edify you. So, without further ado, you guys, we know that we are in the hour of deception. We understand this. We understand that this is an hour of great deception. This is an hour where there is literally a great falling away. Many, many believers who once were in the faith, many, many believers who were once running this race have become hindered. They have fallen away. They have gone astray. They have been led astray by seducing spirits. My God. And I was talking to a sister yesterday and, and we were having a good conversation about something. And I said something. And when I said this, it was as if the Holy Spirit has spoke to me in that moment. It was like a prophetic utterance. And it was so profound to me that I could not stop thinking about this. I'm like, this is so deep, Lord. Like, wow. So when I was speaking, I said, a single person carrying a seducing spirit can deceive an entire nation. Let that sink. Let that sink for a minute. A single person carrying a seducing spirit can deceive an entire nation. You guys, the other day I was I was in a store and I was ministering to a Catholic lady. You know, and I was telling her about how we are not supposed to worship Mary and things like that. And she was like, oh, well, you know, we don't worship Mary and we just kind of, um, you know, pray to her so that she can pray to Jesus for us. And I was just, I was baffled. I was really baffled. And I left that conversation just thinking like, what in the world? Like, who came up with the notion that you had to literally pray to Mary in order to get to Jesus. And furthermore, who in their right mind would believe this kind of foolishness? It's foolish. And then the Lord spoke to me and he showed me once again. A single person carrying a seducing spirit can deceive an entire nation. You see, we have Catholicism as the great, one of the greatest religions right now. One of the biggest religions, the Vatican, my God. These people pray to Mary, but yet they still believe that they are the purest, most holy and unorthodox or orthodox form of Christianity. They believe that they are the, mo the most orthodox form of Christianity. So as we can see, these seducing spirits that are unleashed in the earth right now, they are very, very strong and they are powerful. And I, I don't say that to give these spirits glory. I don't say that to exalt them in any way because their glory can never measure up to our Lord and Savior. It can never measure up. However, you guys, we have to beware of how these spirits operate. Because again, this is the great hour of deception. You don't want to be swept away in that in that wave I'm telling you guys 1 John chapter 4 
It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. In other words, test those spirits. Test them. Don't believe every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God. Why? Because many false prophets are going out into the world. We see many, many prophets, many people just rising up seemingly out of nowhere. You see what I'm saying? Everybody just suddenly making YouTube channels and, and getting on there preaching what thus saith the Lord. Everybody is speaking for God. But not every spirit is of God. Not every spirit that is speaking through those people is of God. This is why the Bible says in verse 2, Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. This is how you know the Spirit of God. How? Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already it is in the world. The spirit of Antichrist is in the world, you guys. There is a spirit of Antichrist in this world, my God. So, you guys, we need to learn how to apply this scripture, you guys, in real time. We need to learn how to pray for discernment, strong discernment in this hour this is a very late and dark hour you guys we see that there are many spirits that have gone out into the world many false prophets we see the election prophecies we see that many many people were caught in this wave of you know this trump prophecy Many, many people, I was almost caught up in this. I was. I confess to you guys. I almost got in this, you know, a little too deep. This whole election stuff, this whole politics and all of that stuff. You know? But it's a, it's, it was a seducing spirit. My God. See, when we hear the word seducing. Seducing. We often times think of a woman trying to seduce a man, right? But we don't think about how these spirits can be doing the same thing in the spirit realm. You understand? And they can, you know, project something to you that sounds so good and look so good and feel so right. You understand? But we have to realize that there are seducing spirits. They are deceitful spirits. My God. My God. We saw even, you know, I don't know if you guys saw um, a video that I made a few months ago. And it was about the April 17th rapture date. That many, many, many believers were caught, caught up in. Many, many believers were prophesying that Jesus was going to come back on this day. Even though the Bible says that no man knows the day nor the hour. You see what I'm saying? One girl even claimed to have over 30 confirmations that the Lord had told her that he was coming back on April 17th. You see? And, and you know, she was a sincere sister. She was a very sincere sister. But she was sincerely wrong. She was sincerely deceived, you guys. And we see this with many, many other things in the world right now, you guys. We see that with different movements, different religions, the Hebrew Israelites, the Islamic nation, the LGBT movement, the, the Antifa, the BLM, all of these things that are taking place in the earth. Even with abortion. 
It all began with one person who had a seducing spirit. And it led away, it resulted in an entire nation being deceived and going astray from God. My God. We got to realize that there are many, many different spirits out here, you guys. Many. We got seducing spirits, yes. That's only one kind of spirit. We have deceiving spirits. We got familiar spirits. We have unclean spirits. We have lying spirits. We got all type of spirits, you guys. Counterfeit spirits. Serpent spirits. Demonic spirits. It's just a multitude of wicked spirits that have gone out into the earth. Many of these spirits are indwelling people speaking through these people leading many people astray through th these people. This is why the Bible says try the spirits. We got to be familiar very familiar and intimate with the Holy Spirit. See, if we don't have the Holy Spirit, we don't have the Holy Ghost, we don't know the Holy Ghost, we don't have an intimate relationship with the Holy Ghost, then, of course, we're going to be more inclined to following a different spirit. You see? But the Bible says that we will know them by their fruit. This is how we know who's of God and who's truly not of God. Or who's speaking by a different spirit. You will know them by your fruit. By their fruit. If the fruit is bad, you guys, then nine times out of ten, the, the ten times out of ten, the root is bad. If the fruit is bad, then the root has to be bad. The root. The Bible says that a good tree cannot bear bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. It just cannot happen, you guys. So we have to make sure that we are staying in the word and we are studying to show ourselves approved, you guys. We have to be like the Bereans. You see what I'm saying? The Bereans, they were wise. They were noble. You understand? They didn't just receive what Paul was saying just because he claimed to be an apostle. No. They um they compared, you know, what he said with scripture. They compared it. They went in the Bible for themselves and really sought it out to be, you know, to see if it was true or not. You know, so this was noble of them. This was wise of them. You see, because we have many people that are being so lazy and depending on their, their pastors or on YouTube they're going on YouTube and they're trying to, to have people teach them instead of getting in the word for themselves. They don't know what's really true or not. They're just believing what that person is teaching them. But just because, let me, let me just say this too. We even got to be so discerning, you guys, because just because a person uses scripture does not mean that that's the right interpretation of that scripture. You see what I'm saying? So this is this is this is how subtle the enemy be. He can even use scripture. What happened in the Garden of Eden? What happened when Jesus was in the wilderness for forty days? Satan he came with that scripture. He knows the scripture. He will use that scripture. Do you guys understand? So it's nothing for him to use scripture. This is why we have to have the Holy Spirit because it is the Holy Spirit that guides us and leads us in all truth. It is the Holy Spirit that teaches us all things. Hallelujah. It is the Holy Spirit that he 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 opens the word up to us. You see because the Bible says that these things are spiritually discerned. Not anybody can just go up in this Bible and just read this Bible and understand this Bible. Why? Because it's a spiritual book. It's not just a book with words. It is a spiritual book. You have to have spiritual eyes. God has to literally open this word up to you. He has to open your eyes. Many people have eyes, but they cannot see. Many people have ears, but they cannot hear. And many people have a heart that cannot perceive. So you see, and this is the reason why we need the Holy Spirit. 
So please, you guys, stop being so gullible. Stop being so easily swayed just because a person talk good or, or just because a person seems so anointed. It does not matter. We are in an hour of great deception. Many people are falling away. They don't even know that they've fallen away. Many this is this is the this is the time where many people are being turned over to a reprobated mind. This is this is an hour of the great delusion. God is turning people over to a great delusion because they love not the truth. But they had pleasure in unrighteousness. They chose to believe a lie. You see, God is not playing, you guys. God is not playing. So we have to beware of who we watch. Beware of who we listen to. Why don't we test the spirits anymore? Why, why aren't we practicing these spiritual exercises that is, 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 is meant to build us up so that we can become a, a soldiers in the army of God so that we can become um, built up in our most holy faith so that we can become truly all that God has called us to be why are we being lazy you guys so I just wanted to share that with you you guys because this is so serious this is so serious and many people many many people don't understand this you guys we have to be we have to we have to guard our hearts we have to guard our heart now is the time that we guard our hearts we have to guard our hearts you guys don't just let anything in your heart don't i don't care how good they preach it's not about that it's about if what they preach is truly sound is what they preach truly the doctrine of jesus christ excuse me or or is it something made up is it something where they've added to the word or they've taken away from the word you see what i'm saying because the bible says it is the little fox that destroys the entire vine so you might not think oh well you know well this person they don't really believe this but you know it's okay because we all have our differences and you know we might not agree on this but as long as we agree on the basic stuff Come on, you guys. That that right there, that's compromising. That is compromising because it's the little fox that destroys the entire vine. It's those little doctrinal errors that many people think means nothing or has no type of effect. It's the little leaven. That leaven is the whole lump. You see? And we don't want the leaven of the Pharisees, you guys. We don't want that leaven. We don't want nothing to corrupt or taint or defile anything that God is doing in us. Time is very short. The Lord is getting ready to return. And this is an hour where this is, this, this is a final call. I'm telling y'all. Lord gave me that dream and told me this was the final warning. We are in the race of salvation, you guys. I don't know if y'all feel it. I feel it. I've been feeling it. I've been feeling it so strongly. Like we are really in this the final moments of this race. This is a race for our soul, for our life. And the Bible tells us to run that we may receive a reward. Don't run. Don't run and, and, and beat the air. Don't, don't beat the air, you guys. Run with a purpose. Run having eternity in, in the forefront of your mind. Run knowing that you're going to see Jesus at the end. Run knowing that you're going to receive that great reward, which is Jesus. Run that you may receive that crown. Run so that you may be with your Lord and Savior forever. Let's run this race, you guys. Looking unto Jesus, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Let us lay aside the weight and the sin that doth so easily beset us. Let us lay aside and cast off the works of darkness. Let us truly set our hearts and set our soul to seek the Lord with all of our hearts. 
Let us stop being so in tune on social media and watching people, listening to people. My God, many people are, 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 have fallen away because the blind is leading the blind. We better wake up. We better wake up because Satan, he's not playing. He's not playing with you. He's not your friend. Do you understand? He comes to steal and to kill and to destroy. But Jesus Christ, he has come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. See, Satan, he is already on the path of destruction and he is destroying everything that gets in his way. Everything that's in his way. Do you understand? He's not playing with people. It don't matter if you are young or you're old. It don't matter if you are rich or you're poor. It don't matter if you're black or you're white. There is a war that is going on for your soul. And if you are not aware, if you are not alert, if you are not awake, you will be led astray with the error of the wicked. You will fall away from your own steadfastness and you will be led astray by the error of someone else. My God, don't let that be you. Don't let it be you today. Today, you can make the choice to say, hold on, I'm going to guard my heart. I'm going to seek, I'm going to seek the Lord. I'm going to study to show myself approved and get in this word for myself so that I can know the voice of God because I don't want to follow a strange voice that would lead me elsewhere. So I love you guys and I really hope that we all take heed of this because again, this is the hour of great deception. This is the hour where many people are falling away. We see it. I see it. I know many people in front of me. People that I've known personally that have fallen away into deception and error. My God, let us cling to the garments of the Lord in this hour. Let us cling to his precious promises. Let us be rooted and grounded and let us not be moved away from the hope of the gospel in which was first delivered unto us. Let us hold fast to that gospel, you guys. Many people are falling away from that and they're taking heed to another gospel, another voice, another word, another doctrine, another Jesus. Don't let that be you. Don't let that be you. So I love you guys. And I pray that that blessed you. May we all take heed. And beware in this hour and guard our hearts and use discernment and try every spirit so that we may be able to endure until the end and make it across that finish line. I love you guys. God bless you in Jesus name.